the Hawaii State Track and Field Championships get underway this weekend at Mililani High School. But questions are being raised about a transgender athlete being allowed to take part in the competition. Our Eric Nacton looked into the controversy. A reported female transgender athlete competing in the female category at the upcoming HHSAA Hawaii State Championship has generated concerns with some parents, coaches, and athletes. I think the biggest objections are is our daughters and all the girls in Hawaii have worked really hard and competed against one another, and the competitions should be fair. And so, especially having a daughter running in this race, it really hits home for the first time that here, if we have males competing in female sports, that creates an unfair advantage. My daughter raced her very first race in Maui against a transgender male to female. And so I raised a civil rights complaint against the Department of Education because this violates Title IX. The original intentions of Title IX, of course, established by Hawaii Zion Pelti Mink, um, were to give equal opportunity to male bodies and female bodies. So the females are supposed to have the same uh, rights as the males, the same fair playing field. Kea'au is a high school that pursues perseverance, respect, integrity, diversity, and excellence. I'm not troubled. I've read Title IX, so I know what its contents are. So I, I don't have an issue with it. I'm not one that's going to interpret what it is we as the Department of Education are asked to follow. I try to make it fair for all my students in whatever we do, and I make sure we follow our policies. The Hawaii State Department of Education Civil Rights Branch emphasizes a commitment to student civil rights with a mission to respect diversity. Policies prohibit discrimination. Protected classes include gender identity and gender expression. The CRCB oversees compliance with federal laws that include Title IX. Eric Nacton, Isla News.